Thank you, and uh, what an honor and a privilege it is to be here today, and uh, a lot of distinguished guests, fellow general officers, family, friends, uh, what a tremendous honor it is to, uh, to recognize uh, Colonel, soon to be, Brigadier General Mike Thompson, and, uh, and uh, promote him to the rank of Brigadier General. Uh, first of all, I, I've got to say, Mike is as good a person as he is a great officer. And uh, this, is, this is absolutely a, a tremendous day uh, for all of us because we're not only getting a great person, we're getting a great leader. Now, great leaders and great people don't come without great families. And uh, Deborah, thank you. Uh, also, uh, Brandon and Roxy, uh, thank you. Captain Brandon, Captain Roxy uh, <laughs> Thompson, and then Jared Thompson, First Lieutenant Jared Thompson. Now, you, you kind of get the, the, uh, the stream here. <laughs> Uh, th this family is, is kind of, you heard the deal between the, the uh, chicken and the pig, and uh, this family's committed. But uh, they're committed in the right way. Uh, and uh, they love public service. They love being a part of something so important to their heart, uh, and that's the love of this country. And, and thank you for what you do. Because I know that you young men, Jared and Brandon, Spent a lot of birthdays without your dad. You spent some football and basketball and soccer games without dad present. Probably Boy Scouts, any other activity where he had his guard duties uh, to do instead of going to watch you play. But that's what a, that's what a citizen soldier is all about. You know, it's uh, the one thing I like to say about Mike, he leads by example. You know, I know that in 2003, he was with two companies that we had in Kuwait uh, that were guarding Patriot missile batteries. And those, those company, one of those companies went forward. And Mike was on one of the, the first, in the initial invasion, and probably one of the first National Guards in, in, into Iraq at the time. When, he, when I went to Iraq with the 45th Infantry Brigade at, uh, during my command, Mike, on very short notice, I asked him to be my executive officer. Uh, we had uh, lost an executive officer, and in very short notice, and I'm talking about Mike probably a week or two before we departed. A couple of days. A couple of days. <laughs> well, I was giving myself a, you know, I'm getting old, so I had time, you know, time to. <laughs> but, you know, without hesitation, without hindrance, and without fault, he performed those duties in an exemplary manner. You know, he's... He's all about family. He's all about service. He's all about his community. Now, we in the National Guard can't do anything that we don't honor our communities. We live in them. We work in them. We worship in them. And we serve those communities throughout the state of Oklahoma and by and large across these great states of ours. It's all about servanthood. It's all about serving something bigger than yourself. It's all about providing to our citizens the quality that we can bring them through our service. And Mike, you exemplify that. You're very deserving. And you know, they said you, you don't get the, you don't earn this opportunity to be promoted, but you do earn it. You earn it through your past performance, and that past performance provides for you that opportunity to serve in the next higher grade. As a friend, thank you. Thank you As a soldier, thank you. And uh, I, I will always value the time that we've had together. We're not retiring, by the way, if, if you get this, <laughs> not, okay. But the fact is, is that I'm so honored to be able to be here today to take part in this occasion. And to you and your family, God bless you, and I love you, man. Thank you. Thanks.